Hello, for today's demonstration we're going to learn a cool technique for creating a bent helix. Something I get asked about quite a bit, so I wanted to give a little demonstration and uh, we're going to use some surfacing techniques, so pay attention. Uh, you might uh, learn a technique that uh, maybe you hadn't thought of using before. What we're going to do is begin by sketching on the front plane and I'll begin with just a center point arc and we'll drag that around to approximately 90 degrees, but I'll use some center lines to, uh, to help me force my design intent here by picking on this center line here and forcing that to be vertical. Now I have a 90 degree segment. Let's add a dimension for the overall height. So about 8 inches for my, uh, my segment here. Exit the sketch. Now on the same sketch plane, I'm going to go back and draw another sketch. So this is a new sketch still using the front plane and I'm going to draw a short horizontal line segment out to the left and I'll dimension it roughly one inch and exit the sketch. So now I have two sketches and this is going to allow me to make a simple sweep feature but I'm going to use the surface sweep as opposed to a solid sweep because uh, we're, we're just building up some construction geometry right now. So let's choose from the surfaces toolbar or you can also find this under insert surface sweep. I'll just grab it from my toolbar swept surface Okay, we need a profile and a path. My profile is the short straight segment, the path is the arc segment, but now the tricky part here is to expand the options group box and under the orientation and twist type we want to choose the twist along path option. And we can define this by a number of turns. Notice as I increase the number of turns what we're winding up doing here is twisting that horizontal segment as it sweeps around the arc path and that gives us a nifty curved helix, but we're not quite done yet. We need to also sweep a tubular surface that's bent around that same arc and that we can do with another swept surface. The profile for that swept surface we can draw on the top plane, which is kind of like the, the base plane of the part, so I'll create a sketch on that plane and let's just draw a circle centered on the origin with a dimension about 1.25 looks pretty good and we can exit that sketch. Now so this is going to be a swept surface where we sweep this circle along that same arc path. Now you could go back to the front plane and draw another 8, uh, eight inch tall center point arc but we could also reuse the, uh, the arc that we've already drawn. So let's see how we can reuse that same sketch for another sweep. So from surfaces toolbar I'll do swept surface. For my profile I'll fly out the feature manager and grab the most recent sketch and then I'll expand my surface sweep 1 and find sketch 1 which is the first sketch that I drew. That's going to be my path. I don't need any kind of uh, twist control under this, I can just take the defaults. So now what we have is two surface bodies and you can see that in the feature manager tree, surface sweep 1, surface sweep 2. The interesting thing about those two bodies is that the intersection, if you were to be able to pick out that intersecting edge between those two surfaces, you'd have a, a curved helix and that's exactly what we want. The command that will help us get that intersection is found under the tools menu, tools, sketch tools, intersection curve. When I choose the intersection curve it's asking me to pick the entities, surfaces or planes to define the intersection. Once I pick those two surfaces and OK that and then exit the command you can see that a 3D sketch is generated now at the intersection. That sketch will be a prof or will be a path sketch that we can use to sweep another profile along. At this point, we're done with the two surface bodies. Again, those were really just construction geometry that allowed us to create the intersection. So I can take those two bodies and hide them. And now I'm just left with my 3D sketch. Let's go in and put a reference plane at the end of that 3D sketch so we can draw our profile sketch. So I'll use my reference uh, reference plane command. For the first reference I'll pick the 3D sketch and the second reference is just the endpoint of the curve itself. That gives me a sketch plane where I can draw the sweep profile. So inserting a new sketch I'll go into a normal two view and I will draw just a circular profile and I'm going to draw it a, a little bit away from the, uh, the actual end of the curve just so that I don't accidentally create uh, an, an incorrect uh, type of relationship. About a quarter inch diameter is all that I want here and to guarantee that the center of this circle 
attaches to the, the end point of the curve, we use a special type of sketch relation called a Pierce relation. And it's done by control selecting the center point of my circle and then the 3D sketch itself. Not the end point of the sketch, but the actual sketch itself. Okay, so once again, control select the point of the circle and then the curve itself, and you'll see that we have a Pierce relationship option. Exit the sketch, and finally, we just need to insert our boss sweep, choosing the profile, choosing the path, check mark, and now we've created a three dimensional bent helix feature, some pretty complicated geometry but uh, not all that hard to create when you use reference surfaces.